Quenching Thirst the Sober Way. Exploring Non-Alcoholic Beverages in English. Hello learners! Welcome to another exciting video in our English language learning series. Today, we'll be diving into the world of non-alcoholic beverages. We'll learn about their names, descriptions, and a little bit about where they come from. Remember, building your vocabulary is a crucial part of mastering English, and it's always more fun when we're talking about something delicious. First, let's talk about hot non-alcoholic beverages. 1. Coffee. This is a popular drink worldwide, made from brewed coffee beans. 2. Tea. Another globally loved drink, tea comes in countless varieties, like green tea, black tea, and herbal tea. 3. Hot chocolate. A sweet, warming drink made from cocoa powder, sugar, and milk. 4. Cappuccino. A type of coffee made with espresso, hot milk, and usually topped with frothed milk. Now, let's cool down with some refreshing cold beverages. 1. Water. The most essential drink for all. It can be sparkling or still. 2. Juice. A drink extracted from fruits, like apple juice, orange juice, or grape juice. 3. Lemonade. A sweet and tangy drink made from lemons, sugar, and water. 4. Iced tea. This is simply tea that has been cooled down and served with ice. 5. Smoothie. A thick, nutritious drink made from blended fruits, yogurt or milk, and sometimes ice. Lastly, let's explore some traditional and cultural beverages from around the world. 1. Chai. An Indian spiced tea made with milk, tea leaves, and a combination of various spices. 2. Sake. While most commonly associated with the alcoholic version, non-alcoholic sake also exists and is a Japanese rice beverage. 3. Mate. A traditional South American drink made by steeping dried leaves from the yerba mate plant in hot water. And there you have it. A thirst-quenching rundown of non-alcoholic beverages in English. Remember, knowing these words not only helps you order drinks at a cafe or restaurant, but it also expands your overall vocabulary, making you a more fluent English speaker. Keep practicing, stay hydrated, and we'll see you in the next video.